Hey guys, make sure to stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, you may spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on repairs, parts, diagnostics that you don't need. Make sure to stand to the end. We will explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Silverado this generation here from year 2006 to year 2013. If you have one of those and if you have a problem where headlights do not work, we'll explain in this video today which fuses need to check first because guys, why to waste money on parts, tools, diagnostics that you may not need? Always check the fuses first. We'll explain where you can find them. Where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time and why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure it's done till the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Silverado, that generation, that's the second generation from year 2006 to year 2013, we'll be making a video about every single fuse relay. Why? Because if you're in the middle of nowhere, you're down the road, you need to find a fuse for fuel pump, ignition, immobilizer, parktronic, anything like that. All we have to do, watch that video, spend less than a minute or two, find it, fix your problem, you're back on the road. Because most people will lose their manuals or it will not be clearly specified in the manuals. Some fuses have multiple functions. So we'll be having more than probably 150 to 200 free repair videos on that. We guys make video constantly here at the garage. We take things apart, engines, transmissions, bodywork, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channel that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs please check it out in addition guys if you need to buy any parts tools special fuses anything like that at a really good price quick shipping that way do not waste your money and time we'll share the links in the description of the video below so let's start on it now so guys now if a headlight doesn't work which fuses we will need to check specifically we will demonstrate on this generation chevy silverado right here you have multiple fuse boxes up to three of them today we're working just one that's under the hood open the hood guys here on the driver's side under this cover you have a fuse box open it and you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout that will look just like this one right here before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So guys, if now you have problems where the headlights do not work, okay, what do you need to check or a single headlight doesn't work? You need to start with checking some fuses. That's towards the uh, front of your Chevy Silverado, windshield side, passenger side, driver side. By the way, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools, bulbs at a really good price, quick shipping, we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience. That way you do not waste money and time. If you come towards the front here, guys, First fuse I need to check is fuse number 11, right here. Then you need to check fuse number 16, right next to it, guys. After that, you will need to check uh, fuse number <coughs> 30, right here. Fuse number 32 will need to be checked as well, right there. You need to check fuse number 31 and 33 as well. So these fuses here and these two. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Hopefully the video was helpful and see you guys next time. 